The fuming parents of a young woman left heartbroken when her holiday romance turned out to be a cruel pull a pig game have revealed they want to kill the love rat. Devastated Sophie Stevenson was stood up at Amsterdam airport by Dutchman Jesse Maitman, who sent her the message, you were pig. He added two pig images plus a laughing face and wrote, it was all a joke. Sophie's dad Andrew Stevenson said his daughter, who has been single for around 12 months, had been so excited about flying out meet Jesse. The 53-year-old told Sun Online, as soon as I heard I wanted to go over there and find him. It would be awful for it to happen to anybody, but for it to happen to my daughter is disgusting. It's awful to think of. She is a beautiful, confident, gorgeous girl and how dare that BD do anything like this. Sophie, of Stoke, slept with Jesse, 21, in what she called a proper romance, after they met in Barcelona, while caught up in August's terror attack. The traumatized pair had struck up a friendship, while with pals at the pension solarium a one-minute walk from the horror that killed 13 people. She told The Sun, we slept together in Barcelona, and when I came back to the UK, we carried on talking every day. We talked about having a long-distance relationship. Andrew said finding out about the sick game was worse than waiting to hear from his daughter during the terror attack. Bar supervisor Sophie had forked out £350 on a 400-mile trip to be with her lover in Amsterdam when he callously stood her up at the airport. It has now emerged Jesse was messaging Sophie every day asking to visit her in Manchester and said he couldn't wait for her to arrive in Amsterdam. Her mum Julie Stevenson, 50, revealed she wanted to kill the sick prankster for leaving her daughter heartbroken and devoid of confidence. She told Sun Online, I want to kill him. He's really sick. I certainly hope he has his commutants and realizes what he has done. He can't be allowed to get away with it. The police will say he has done nothing wrong but he has. Morally it's deplorable how he treated my daughter. When she called me in floods of tears, after waiting three hours at the airport I told her to come straight home. But the next flight she could get on wasn't until the next day. I was sick with worry that night that she might do something to herself. She was in such a dark place. I have been living every moment of this with her, and it's really horrible. Sophie flew from Manchester on September 29 and was messaging Jesse just minutes before she took off. But when she arrived in Amsterdam, she discovered the rat wasn't there to pick her up as planned and was ignoring her calls. Heartbroken Sophie waited for two hours at the airport and explained she was really starting to panic and feel abandoned.
she heard from him via his abusive messages six hours later at a hotel after making her own way there on a shuttle bus. Sophie replied, how could you be so cruel though, he promptly blocked her on social media. Sophie said, pulling a pig is where a guy tries to pull the fat, ugly girl. I felt sick. The 24-year-old added, all my friends and family cannot believe someone could be so cruel. It's one thing to have a joke, but this goes well beyond banter. Julie explained how Sophie had returned home from Barcelona, and the pair spoke every single day, and it seemed very serious. Excited Sophie would run upstairs to talk to Jesse and plan the trip to Amsterdam because he couldn't wait to see her again. Julie fumed, it's unbelievable that he kept in daily contact with her to then leave her at the airport. The amount of planning to pull such a sick joke beggars belief. She was crying after three hours and just devastated when she got that message. It has completely knocked her confidence. Hopefully Sophie will get over this. She has been so unlucky to run into such a monster. After Jesse sent Sophie the message, she headed back home the next morning. Devastated Sophie said, when I saw that message, I wanted to be sick. I was in a foreign country, on my own and the guy that I liked had just abandoned me. I replied and said, how could you be so cruel, and all he did was block me. I just couldn't believe it. She added, I am furious that this happened and it's so dangerous. I want people to know what happened to me so that this never happens to anyone else. Sophie has now received an outpouring of support from well-wishers calling her beautiful and gorgeous. Taking to Facebook one shocked woman, Audrey Taylor, wrote, This is unbelievably cruel and insulting. I hope your mother is so proud, Jesse Maitman, you disgusting apology for a human being. She continued, Sophie, this may put you off men for life, but even though I have been divorced twice and am old enough to be your grand, let me reassure you there are some really lovely men out there who would be thrilled to meet such a beautiful girl don't let this scumbag cause you any damage. Jacqueline Abrams, from Plymouth, Devon, added, This is unbelievably cruel. How low some humans can stoop never ceases to amaze me. He should be very scared, though because karma will make sure he is dealt with accordingly. Jesse failed to respond to our efforts to contact him.